Hello, this is Randa Chris, and I'm coming to you for a blog on March 9th, 2013, and, well, this is basically a get-to-know video, plus WWE 13 gameplay with a very special guest, well, not here with me, but in the game. <laughs> so, yeah, as I said, this is a get-to-know video, and basically what I'm going to be talking about here is just my YouTube channel and its purpose. So... What's my YouTube channel's purpose? Oh, hang on a second. We seem to be having a very special guest. Who is that? Hmm. Dirty blonde hair. Glasses. He's from Canada. Pro Don John. <laughs> yeah, um... Basically, the whole story behind what you're seeing right now is that I was on Twitter with... You know... Just, you know, trying to get some attention. No, I shouldn't be saying that, but I talked to Proton John about making a WWE 13 model for the game, and he was on board with it. You know, I gave him the Stone Cold entrance, the moves and stuff, and yeah, I, I've, I'm pretty proud of it, and he certainly likes it, especially since I gave him speech and music to use on John Cena. <laughs> so, yeah. Back to what I was saying, like, the purpose of my YouTube channel is simply to entertain people because, you know, that's what I just that's what I live for. I love to entertain people, whether I'm talking to somebody and I'm just being a weird person, you know, doing this, the YouTube videos, or being on stage. Yes, I have been on stage. I have been in Romeo and Juliet, and I have look, performed look. songs, even though they mostly consist of karaoke. <laughs> so. The stuff I'm going to be putting on my YouTube channel, including the stuff you've seen so far, well, basically, the thing is, I'm not going to be following any trends that people like PewDiePie would. And, yeah, oh my god, I just mentioned PewDiePie. Oh my god, I hope the bro army doesn't get me. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I don't really have a problem with PewDiePie or any of any popular YouTube Let's Players like Tabusk is. I've never really watched them, but I've heard of them, Uber, Hex, or Nova, those kinds of guys. Like, I, I don't have any problem with them, it's just that some of them tend to jump on bandwagons for their video content, and frankly, I think they can half-ass it sometimes, but that's just me. Well, I'm not sure if I should be saying that if I watch the game, Grumps, but, you know, that's just my personal taste. And, you know, I also like guys like Proton John right here. Mainly for, um... Mainly for his Battletoads race, because who the fuck can race through Battletoads and be happy about it? In fact, I think he might be a pro at Battletoads at this point. And, uh... So, yeah. My, oh, my, I tend to notice I go off on tangents a lot, and I apologize for anyone who's listening to me like they hear me talk about something then I go off on something else like well, why the fuck did you bring that up in the first place jackass <laughs> but yeah I, I really just hope to entertain anybody however I can and you know if you like what you're getting from me at, as of this point right now then that's great I'm really happy and if you don't like what you're seeing well I'm sorry I'm sorry I haven't been able to entertain you that much, but I'm glad you're at least taking the time to give me a chance. And, you know, I'm, I'm open for whatever suggestions people have. Just don't expect me to get to them right away because, well, I'm pretty busy with college, trying to get a job. And, you know, it's just that life tends to get in the way. So... I guess I should be talking right now about video projects or like what I have in store. So if you haven't been able to take a look at my YouTube channel as unappealing as the page looks with, you know, my character playing Family Food with Princess Celestia and Princess Luna. But yeah, if you haven't been able to look at the list, which I'm pretty sure you haven't because it Nothing really pulls you in. Nothing really pulls you into it. Basically, the projects I have upcoming are The Prince of Persia, The Forgotten Sands, Dustin Alethean Tale, a game I freaking love. I'm probably going to do the rest of The Walking Dead, but with commentary, because I noticed that, you know, even though I 
decided to do the first two parts as walkthrough videos, they just felt like really, eh. Yeah, they just felt eh. And well, I've definitely can I'm definitely canceling the my WWE 13 universe because well, first off, I excuse me, I really uh don't have the time to worry about like creating my own shows and stuff like that. I mean, like it's re it's really fun. I'll probably do it in my off time, but it's not something I'm gonna be doing for YouTube. And uh, speaking of WWE, I'm planning to do a SmackDown vs. Raw retrospective, which, well, yeah, SmackDown vs. Raw, not the just the SmackDown games, because well, I haven't, re I didn't really grow up with the Attitude Era. I grew, I grew up in the Ruthless Aggression Era, if you want to call it that. Basically, when, you know, when Eddie Guerrero was the WWE champ. The, cha the WWE champion around that time and you know the game that really got me into it around that time was Smackdown vs. Raw and you know I've just continued to buy every single WWE game to come after that including WWE All-Stars but you know that's a different story or oh, actually I'm gonna include WWE All-Stars in the retrospective because well basically I'm gonna showcase the THQ games from SmackDown vs. Raw to WWE 13 before, you know, they unfortunately went bankrupt. And, you know, just a way to show my respects to the, to the series under THQ, even though I'm pretty sure not much is going to change under 2K Sports, but I hope big changes come. And, yeah, the thing you're going to notice is that, um, my, my... My video about WWE 2009, it's going to be on the, my, my <laughs> excuse me, my videos about WWE, about SmackDown vs. Raw 2007, 2009 are going to be on the PlayStation 2 because, well, I can't really be bothered to buy them on Xbox 360 because I don't really see the point, especially since, you know, there's not much difference between the 2007 and 2009 versions other than just improved graphics and stuff like that. Like, I, I rebought WWE. I don't know why I keep on saying WWE. I'm, you know what I'm talking about. But basically, I rebought 2010, the Xbox, ver Xbox 360 version. Oh my god, I cannot talk right now. I rebought that version for the Superstar Threads, the improved created Superstar. You know, just basically make it more appealing to look at because. At that point, I got really freaking tired of looking at the PS2 graphics as cons as consistent as they were. So yeah, it's going to be the SmackDown vs. Raw games with WWE 12 and 13 along with WWE All-Stars since, you know, still under THQ. And also, I still have the Full Metal Alchemist and the Broken Angel LP going. Just need to stop... I just need to get off my lazy butt and actually make the videos. But see, the problem, like with why I haven't been posting a lot, a lot of videos right now, is that um, Roxio Game Capture right now is stuttering on me for some reason. I'm trying to find out the reason why that is, or not really stuttering, but distorting, as you've probably noticed in my Sonic 06 videos as of late. But for some reason, it doesn't happen in my PlayStation 2 videos. Which is weird. And speaking of my PlayStation 2 videos, my latest upload, Ready to Rumble Boxing Round 2, definitely expect more of that, because it's a game I've been wanting to get my hands on for years, and finally, now that I have it, I'm definitely going to play it. But, um, yeah, the thing you're going to notice is that my, my library of games to LP is not a big one. I don't really buy a lot of current games, even though people talk about, you know, how great they are, and... I just can't be bothered to buy the $60 price tag, especially since, you know, I don't really have a steady source of income. But basically what I'm just trying to do, overall, in summary, is just entertain you guys, just give you just give you a couple laps, and if it makes you feel good, then that's great. I'm happy to help. So, I get, oh, sorry about that, headset. Oh yeah, and if I just happen to sound really quiet or something on my headset, I'm sorry. It's just that I don't want to end up screaming and just, 
you know, just pretty much busting speakers or something just go just by going screaming is funny. Nah, I'm not gonna do that. So, other things I should talk about. Probably my favorite things to watch. It might not come as any surprise, but one of those things would be the would be that guy with the glasses. Dot com with, you know. Nostalgia Critic, Linkara, Angry Joe, Ben at the Sage. You know, just those guys who I really love to watch. And, you know, I still like Spoonie. You know. I, you know, that guy with the glasses.com. Brain Scratch Commentaries. Proton John. Game Grumps. Hmm. Who else? Any consistent people. Uh, Northern Lion. And, you know... I'm not trying to whore myself out here, but maybe I have to whore myself out to get some a little bit of attention. But, you know, basically I kind of have my own agenda. I don't really consistently watch every single video the people I subscribe to make. But that's just basically because, you know, I'm doing my own, like, I'm making my own stuff. So I can't really depend on... Uh, excuse me, I'm... Yeah, it's just like, I can't really be bothered to really worry that much. And definitely something you're going to notice a lot that I just tend... And I just tend to pause a lot because, you know, I'm definitely new to this, you know, just talking on the fly and stuff like that. I mean, I've taken, like, theater in high school where we did a bunch of improv, and I was good at that, but... You know, trying to talk about things right when they're happening. That's kind of something I'm trying to get used to. But I think uh, a couple videos are going to be post-commentary. Just, you know, for just for my sake of not having to worry about how good I sound and how quick I'm reacting to the video and syncing up the video. Good God. Especially with the way my video recording program is right now. But... Just a little bit of extra stuff to talk about. I am on, well, 12 minutes left. Basically, what, the, also another purpose of making this video, which I probably should have mentioned first of all, is that my birthday is coming up in 10 days, actually. Or I'll just put that in the title. Birthday Countdown Blog. There we go. So, yeah, my birthday is coming up on the 19th. Going to be turning 19. Lucky, lucky coincidence. And, you know, I'm probably going to end up getting some stuff for my birthday that will help me improve the quality of my YouTube videos. And I'll definitely be able to do more, you know, technical reviews because the thing I've noticed a lot is that I really, really make a lot of mistakes. I'm still proud of my videos, but I do notice I make a lot of mistakes. And, you know, I just really want to provide more variety in my stuff. So, as you can see, Proton John the Rock and Stone Cold Steve Austin, ah, <laughs> they have beat John Laurinaitis to a bloody pulp. And, well, if you've managed to listen to me for this long, I thank you so much for deciding to listen to me. And I hope that, you know, if this has gotten you more interested in me, I'm glad I'll be able, I'll do my best to provide more quality videos for you. Oh my god, John's flipping the bird. <laughs> But yeah, I hope you guys, you know, give me a shot. If you like what you see, good. If you don't, then that's fine. You can, you know, just find someone else to watch and see if you like them. So, this is gonna be... This is just it for now, so... I thank you for taking the time to watch this, and I will see you in my next video. And this is going to be the only time you see me use face cam in my videos, because always seeing the reactions doesn't equal entertainment, as well as making funny faces and raising your voice to hurt the other person's ears. <laughs>